everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. I am starting this vlog right after I finished my previous vlog. <laughs> so, if, you know, if it's something too familiar, that's why. My plans for today. Today, actually, I need to film a video or maybe two, probably one. I will probably also edit it, so that's why I feel like I need a shorter book for today. That's why I decided that for today I will read John Steinberg. John Steinberg, the moon is down. It's, you see, it's a very like small format, like comparing, for example, to Hermann Hesse. And also my plan for today is another 20 pages of Don Quixote. I started a little bit already this morning, but still I, I haven't finished like 20 pages for today. So yeah, Don Quixote, the moon is down. These are my plans for today. Wish me luck. Good morning. It is the next day. It is Sunday actually. Early, not early morning, it's like 10 maybe a.m. Yesterday I read very little, <laughs> to confess to you. <laughs> I read very little of Don Quixote and I haven't read um, The Moon is Down by John Steinberg. That's why all my plans from yesterday, like my reading plans from yesterday, are staying also for today. <laughs> so no other book. I am behind on, on my plan, but it's okay. You know, it's it's life. The plan is the same as yesterday, and I will just give you a short account of yesterday, because yesterday what I was doing, I was just film, filmed a video, and then in the evening, me and my husband, we were watching The Parasite. The Parasite, the movie, the Korean movie, which won Oscar last year, because we found it on Netflix, like on Japanese Netflix, they have it. Well, unfortunately, they don't really have like English subtitles. They don't even have Korean subtitles. <laughs> they only have Japanese subtitles, which wasn't helpful in our case. So we just watched, you know, just like that, just the sound. Even like, you know, we, we didn't understand like a lot. Obviously, like some like easy conversations I understood, but like the majority of the movie I didn't. So cool. Was so great. I really, really liked Parasite. I feel like it's such a deserving winner. The whole aesthetics of like the poor Korean neighborhood. I thought it was so beautiful. Yeah, I really enjoyed that movie. It was a great movie, Parasite. And then we started watching another movie, which is a shoplifter. And this is a Japanese movie. I think it was, was it also um, nominated for Oscar or did it win Oscar? I'm not sure. So the shoplifter, we also started watching it. We didn't finish, we need to finish it today. But also, great movie. And Shoplifter is like a more heartwarming movie because it's like about family, very close knit family. Um, Japanese family who find like this uh, abandoned small girl and start taking care of her. And it's just a very heartwarming movie about family, a poor family in Japan. So yeah, I also enjoyed that one. So yeah, yesterday was a day of movies, but good movies, good movies. Parasite and Shoplifter. Highly recommended, highly recommended. They're on Netflix. And yeah, so today I will read. I already started reading Don Quixote. And then I will read The Moon is Down by John Steinberg. Okay, let's go back to read. Do you know what I decided to do with Don Quixote? Because in my previous vlog, remember I told you that I started to struggle and uh, because it was it was getting repetitive. You know what I decided to do? I decided to just let go of all of my expectations. Just like, you know, expectation of a novel having a plot, expectation of a novel having like a certain goal in the end of it, like any overarching plot. Just let everything go and just read the book the way it is. Read the book the way it is and enjoy it the way it is. What I enjoy the most at this point is not their adventures, when like this lunatic adventures of Don Quixote. Like, I just, to be honest, I just enjoyed the relationship between Sancho Panzo and Don Quixote. It's like my favorite part. Like whenever they're not in an adventure, but they're just like by themselves, like looking for the adventure and just like discussing certain things and just, you know, going through certain places. Like, their their friendship is just the best. So this is, like, what I enjoy the most about this book at this moment. Just them, just the characters, just their relationship. I feel like it's just good, really good. So, yeah, I'm letting go of all of my expectations and what I kind of want the novel to be. And I'm just reading a piece of work written by a person from the 16th century. Like, how 
mind blowing is that? Can you imagine? 16th century. It's like five centuries ago, a person was sitting at his table and writing these words with his own hands. And now, in the 21st century, I'm sitting here in Japan and reading thoughts of a person from the 16th century. Like, how mind-blowing is that? <laughs> so yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, can you imagine? It's like practically speaking to a person, okay, not speaking, but like listening to a person from a 16th century Spain. This is mind-blowing. So yeah, <laughs> I will just continue reading those 16th century thoughts. <laughs> and yeah, I will just enjoy it for what it is. Hi everyone. It is Monday. <laughs> Today is Monday. Yes. I, it's like the third day, how I'm trying to read <laughs> The Moon is Down by John Steinberg. I read yesterday, how many pages? 24 pages. Today is going to be like a readathon, like a readathon for me. I'm, I want to attempt to finish The Moon is Down, which is like, I will, I'm just first 24 pages, but it's only 100 pages, <laughs> so I'm like one quarter <laughs> through. So yeah, so far, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this book so far. We will see. I will continue. And then this one, the second book that I want to do for today, because like I'm behind on my goal. So I thought, okay, I will try to read two books today. I took a sh the, the shorter one. It's like also 100 pages and it's The Invention of Moral by Adolfo Bioy Casales, which should be just a brilliant novel. And it also, why I also took it, it has pictures. It has illustrations, so it's not exactly 100 pages, it's even less. <laughs> so, hopefully I will be able to get through it. So this is my plan for today. And also this morning when I woke up, I read some, a little bit of Don Quixote. I still have like, um, I don't know, maybe 10 pages for today to read. But yeah, I'm getting through Don Quixote, and actually Don Quixote now is getting better. So like, if you were stuck, if you put Don Quixote down for a, for, for a bit, I highly recommend. I highly recommend coming back to it and just push yourself through till um, chapter 22. And then after chapter 22, it's going to get different. Like it's not going to be just the same adventure, 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 like random adventures not connected to each other. After chapter 22, it's going to get different and there will be new characters introduced and there will be something new. So now I'm reading now and I'm really enjoying now. So it was ready. I was glad that I just pushed my, myself through the part where I was a little bit bored. It's starting to get different. It's 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 getting different and that's why it's getting more interesting. So yeah, highly suggest, highly recommend to just push yourself and then after chapter 22 hopefully you will agree with me and hopefully you will film the same way as I do now. <laughs> okay, so now I will drink my coffee and then I will just continue reading this and then I start Adolfo Bioy Casares. I have prepared my coffee so I will concentrate. I will concentrate on my book. I decided to, to like finish my 20 pages of today for Don Quixote and then I will go on to my short books for today. But actually I wanted to mention nothing in my opinion, like in my humble opinion, nothing can replace a physical book. Like for me, for me obviously, like for me. I'm it's so satisfying. <laughs> Let me show you. It is so satisfying. Like, look, when you hold... Where is this my bookmark? When you hold this and you see how much you've been through, how much you have read, and then you see how much is left, and it's just so encouraging. And especially if it's a big book like that, it's just so satisfying to see and to hold this in your hand and like, yes, I've read it. And then you see how how, how much is more left. So yeah, I, I feel like for me personally, I feel like for me personally, nothing can replace a big, like a physical book. If, especially if I'm reading a big book, like short books, fine. Like, okay, I can read an electronic book, like ebook is okay for shorter works. But with big books like this, I would, I don't know, I feel like nothing replaces this feeling of holding a book for me. It's, maybe it's an old school, maybe it's like, <laughs> you know, um, 
I understand, like, I also really appreciate e-readers because they're, like, so compact and you just bring them everywhere you go and you read wherever you go and I understand that it's a matter of habit. It's just a matter of habit of what you're used to. I, like, I understand this, I know this, but yeah, it's just, you know, it's, like, small moments like that, like, small moments like this that just kind of bring me joy, <laughs> make me happy sometimes. So yeah, I just, I don't want, I guess, to replace them. But yeah, everybody feels different. Like, I'm not, I have nothing against the electronic books. <laughs> I just kind of had this feeling now, like, oh, how much I have read. <laughs> it's so nice to hold it in hands. And I just wanted to say, I just wanted to share. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say. I will start reading. Currently on page 50, can you see? <laughs> 58. In the beginning, to be honest, I wasn't sure <laughs> like what to make of it and what to think of it because it is obviously a book about war. However, it's um, it's not based like on the re on real events. Just it's an imaginary town and an imaginary situation. So it's not describing like real events in history. I guess the intention of the book was like a study of psychology of the conqueror and the conquered. And that I feel like it's doing really well currently. You can I really enjoy the character study and the kind of progress of mental kind of state, especially the conquered. Because the conqueror, like the military man at least from the beginning till this point they have been pretty much the same like they haven't changed much so we mostly see development of like uh thoughts and behavior and like slow realization of what happened of people in the town that was conquered not really conquered because um the town was taken kind of aback people didn't expect it and so yeah there was no resistance and the army of the town was out of the town for some kind of event that was like planned by a traitor and so that's why there was no resistance when the military came the only thing that um maybe a little bit feels weird to me is that this book is very different like from other books that i read about war because um like obviously like I read Russian books about war and I watched Russian movies about war and this book is very kind of it's not brutal like there is it's not as brutal as the books and movies that I read so that's like um I, I, I expected it to be something you know war in this case it's it's kind of very I don't know. I don't want to say the word peaceful, but it's it's quiet. It's like this army came and we're like, we don't want to kill anybody. We don't want to do any harm to anybody. If you just cooperate with us, nobody will have to be killed. It's weird. They're like, they're not obviously peaceful, but they kind of don't want and they don't have this like animal instinct and to kill and to to torture. I feel like I read a lot about and I watched a lot of movies about. I don't know, it's just ob obviously like I've only read Russian and watched Russian movies about war. Like this, it's just, yeah, the only thing that kind of surprises me in this book is that everybody is so civil. <laughs> everybody is so kind of trying to be polite. And I just didn't expect it. I expected it to be like more brutal and violent and you know, all what you read about war in movies and what in books and what you see in the movies. And here they're like so civil. So that's a kind of what I didn't expect, but at the same time it's not a critique because like what do I know? I have finished The Moon is Down by John Steinberg. <laughs> I have very mixed feelings about this novel. It's it's not it's it's not as good as um, of mice and men it's like far not as good as of mice and men was just brilliant and this is like 
<laughs> in my opinion, not not as brilliant. Like it's not bad. Okay, so what I thought about it. There are two parts that he describes in this novel, right? So he describes the psychology kind of and what is happening on the part of the conquered people and what is happening on the part of the conqueror. So I feel like that the part of the conquered was portrayed really well. It was done really well. However, the part of the conqueror, like the part of the conqueror, it was, they were so civilized. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, I've only read books about war from Russian perspective. And I watched Russian movies about war. They were not so civilized. But these people were very weak and naive, which I, I wouldn't expect of people who start a war to be so naive and simple they were kind of they went they came to the city and they expected the city to adore them after a short period of time and after it didn't happen like half of them got okay not half of them but some of them got kind of upset and disappointed and like they, they didn't expect people not to like them and not to do, not to love them and i'm like excuse me like why would they expect people to like them there was a scene where a man comes to a woman the woman is from the from the town from the conquered town and the man is from the army that conquered the town and basically yeah the man just basically wants a woman and of course the whole town hates them and he kind of comes her and the way he behaves he behaves like a 15 year old teenage boy who came to the first girl in his life to kinda and he was asking her to like him okay so my camera died i will continue on this phone like i don't mean to criticize because obviously john steinbeck like how can i criticize john steinbeck like he's a world-class author i don't like I'm just telling you about my thoughts and feelings when I was reading this book. No, it was quite good, but just I expected it to be better. Like, it didn't feel like a book about war. The offender's side didn't feel like an offender's side. They felt like a bunch of teenage boys who just came there for fun. And when they didn't get this fun, they got upset depressed, lost of all of their faith, faith in what they were doing and in their leaders and in everything. It's very different from what I read. And everybody is so peaceful. Everybody wants peace. Everybody wants love. Everybody just wants, you know, everybody to stay alive and everybody wants, like, you know, there is no thirst. There were no thirst for violence there were no thirst for blood and murder that i guess you would expect to see in a novel about war but at the same time like what do i know everybody was so civil in this book like i mean the offender's side everybody was so like we don't want to hurt you will you cooperate with us oh you will not but we will kill you then Maybe you will reconsider. Can you reconsider? <laughs> I was like, excuse me. <laughs> like, oh. And then there is an afterword in this book. And so the afterword says that the book was written as propaganda. It was supposed to be a propaganda in times of war. It was written in 1942? 1942. So yeah, I feel like... And he wrote this book after he talked a lot to people who immigrated to America from countries that were taken by the Nazis. And so I feel like because he talked to the to these immigrants, he portrayed emotions and feelings and like actions and kind of thought process of the people of the town well in my opinion. However, the part of the conqueror, I was just I was always like sitting and reading and I was like 
okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Like, I didn't... I don't know. I Like, I don't know. Obviously, I don't... It's just very different from other books about war that I read and movies about war that I watched. I was surprised that there was no violence. I mean, there were some, like, of course they killed some people, but, like, there were no m massacres. There were no mass, like, anything. I don't know, everybody was very... I don't know. I, it, it's, a, it's, it's a book about war. It's not a book about war. I guess it is a, just a piece of propaganda literature to kind of p keep the spirits of people up. And yeah, also in this foreword, the foreword author said, said that uh, the book was even used by Chinese, some Chinese official to also keep kind of Chinese people's spirit up during their confrontation with the Japanese when part of Ch China was occupied by Japan. So yeah, I guess that's, that's it. Like this is the book of propaganda and not so much a book about war, I guess. It's not even very emotional, like I, I don't know, do, do you remember this book? I guess it does a job, I guess it does a job to show that like you can always resist, you can always keep your spirit up, like there is no such thing as defeat, there is no such thing as the ultimate complete um, victory, you know, people will always fight for their freedom and, and stuff like that, so I feel like yeah, this is just piece of propaganda which is doing the job of propaganda very well however i'm not sure if it portrays the psychology of the conqueror in particular well and the conqueror as like a mass of people as an army i don't think that it portrays that very particularly well i no i don't i don't think so but it's just my opinion again like it's just you know of just person, <laughs> random reader uh, with no experience and stuff like that. But it's, yeah, so that's what I thought about the moon and is down. It's just a piece of propaganda. But yeah, the part of the conquered, the part of the people of the town was done pretty well for the, such a short novel. For such a short novel, it was done quite well, in my opinion. So yeah, that's what I thought about the moon is down. It's already late, I will not be reading. Um, the invention of moral today I will be reading it tomorrow so it will be in my next vlog and for now I'm a little bit <laughs> disappointed I actually really wanted to like this book <laughs> and uh, but yeah when I was reading it was like it was a little bit cringy at some parts the pearl I also read actually his the pearl by John Steinberg I see it here last year I read the pearl the pearl was better the Pearl was better, Of Mice and Men was much better. I guess, yeah, I guess it's not a, so much a literature work, it's a work of propaganda. So yeah, that's that's my experience. I hope you don't hate me after this. Please don't. <laughs> um, I'm sure his uh, other novels are just great and brilliant, and I will read them. I will read them this year because it's one of my goals this year to read more of John Steinbeck. Okay, so this is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a very good day. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are enjoying your books. <laughs> and yeah, have a good day. See you in my next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.